Hello all my JavaScript friends, this is the Virtuoid, aka Mike Smith, and this is Fun with JavaScript, our Jigsaw Puzzle project. This is the introductory video to our latest project, which is creating a web-based Jigsaw Puzzle game straight out of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, this is one of three projects we'll be dealing with this year, in, in case you're watching in the future. This year happens to be 2023. So let's just go straight into it. Now you can go all over the internet and find Buku Jigsaw Puzzle Games. My favorite one happens to be Jigsaw Planet. That's the only place actually I've got a subscription to. And it's wonderful to be able to pull up any of the Jigsaw Puzzles that they have, you know, relax, do the game, and then get back into work. And actually years ago I was always wondering whether can I actually create a game just like this. Now obviously Obviously, you know, we can go through and you know look at the game, get into their code, and figure out exactly how to do it. But that's no fun. But I, I want to be able to create a jigsaw puzzle game that basically starts from scratch. Can we figure it out on our own? And that's the whole purpose of this particular video. Now we're not going to create anything as wonderful as as Jigsaw Planet is, but we're going to create something here which will actually be playable. Something you will be able to add on later on because obviously with this particular code here everything I do is free. You can go to fwjs-jigsaw-puzzle underneath the virtualoid repository inside github and you'll find everything that we do here all available to you. So I encourage you to go out there. We're still on the main branch so just pull it up. There it is. I have no other branches other than the main branch. So again that's under the, the virtualoid account at fwjs yeah, fwjs-jigsaw-puzzle. So how are we going to create this? Well, the game itself, I'm going to split into two different phases. Now in phase one, I've kind of split that up into two different sections. Uh, basically, the first section is our development itself, or the design itself, excuse me. And that's where TDD is going to come in. That stands for Test Driven Development. And in a nutshell, Test Driven Development says, I'm going to write unit tests to be able to describe how I want my system to be designed. I'm going to write that test, it's going to fail, then I'm going to write the code to satisfy the test, and then once the test is satisfied, and then we're going to refactor the code to make it more efficient, make it more beautiful. And so we'll use TDD principles to be able to design this entire project. The second part of this first of the first section here, the mechanics, it deals with what are the different objects we're going to create. And I've basically got it split to three different pieces. That's kind of a bad word to use since I use the word piece, but three different parts, I guess is the best way to say it. The first one is the puzzle itself. So there's going to be some sort of object that's going to say, hey, here's a puzzle. Uh, this is the, all the different things that a puzzle will be able to do. And once we get into the TDD, we'll go through the details of what the puzzle is supposed to do. The second part is the piece. Of course, with the jigsaw puzzle, you have individual pieces. So what are the interactions that a piece might have to do? What are the, some of the characteristics that a piece would, would need? That's some of the things that the TDD is going to be able to help us describe. And the final section is the vertex. And that's the mystery one here. That was that was the piece that for me I was missing trying to figure out how am I going to get a jigsaw puzzle, especially with all the different cutouts working correctly. And once I realized the simplicity of it by using vertexes, it made life a whole heck of a lot simpler. So therefore, we're going to the, the third part will be the vertex. And that, again, the TDD is going to help us describe what a vertex is, what what its mannerisms are, what its behaviors are. So again, use TDD to be able to develop the puzzle to be able to develop the piece and to develop the vertex. Now phase number two is going to be the game itself. And that's going to also kind of split up into different sections. First of all, we're going to have to develop the graphics. And for this one, I'm going to be using a particular library called PhaserJS. Uh, it's, it's been specifically written to do 2D type game applications on the web browser. So it's it's just like Babylon JS where we used, if you're familiar with our uh, racing series, we used Babylon JS, which I thought was a wonderful 3D series to be able to get the cars working on the tracks and things like that. Phaser JS is a nice little 2D system to be able to give us gaming capabilities and some of the wonderful things we're going to need for a jigsaw puzzle on a 2D format, which is great. Now, I will tell you a little bit later as kind of a little hint what we're going to be designing here can actually be used in a 3D environment too. We're not going to do 3D in this case, but we'll keep that in mind a little bit later on. 
So we're going to be using Phaser JS to be able to do the graphics. And then we're, we're actually going to then design the entire board and we're going to figure out how to get everything cut out. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, you know, import the picture, have everything cut out and have different ways of cutting it out. We can have just simple square pieces. We can have the, the famous jigsaw shape. We can have pretty much anything we want. So we're going to need, we'll be able to need to develop algorithms to be able to cut all the pieces out efficiently. And then the second part of phase two will be the physical game itself. You know, keeping user statistics, I want to be able to have a user log into the system and say, I want to play this puzzle or this puzzle or that puzzle. And it'll keep stats on it saying, you know, how long did it take you to do this puzzle? How long did it take you to do this puzzle? Uh, compared itself to other players on that same boat. So, uh, so that's basically phase two, that's part two of phase two is to develop the actual game itself. So to recap, we're going to have it in two phases. Phase number one, we're going to do all of our development work and get the mechanics of the game done. We're not even going to work with graphics yet. Doesn't matter. Phase two is where we're going to do the actual graphics and create the action and create the game itself. And that's basically it. Conceptually, it's relatively simple, but there's going to be a couple of little gotchas. It's like with the track thing in, in when I did the, uh, the, the fun with JavaScript for the racing game. Just like when we headed to the track, I hit a really huge brick wall that I had to muscle through. There may be a couple of things we have to muscle through here together too. But this is going to be a journey for everybody. The next video is going to start the TDD part of the development. So I hope to see you then. If you like this video, please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. We're trying to reach 1 million subscribers by the year 2042. So <laughs> help me out here. Subscribe. And again, thank you very much for watching. This is The Virtual Void, a.k.a. Mike Smith. We'll see you later.